Hey, I'm Justin from Justin's Leap to the Past, and you are watching Justin's Leap to the Past. Now that we got redundancy out of the way, and we got out of the way all that redundancy, uh, today I want to talk about something that maybe is my proudest accomplishment in a sense, and that is uh, the time I spent at THQ working on WWE video games. So I wanted to give a little background on that and maybe talk about the first game, uh, a couple ideas. I'm only trying to keep these under 10 minutes again so i probably have maybe more for part two if there's enough interest but uh right now um so it was 2006 2007 i was uh i spent four years at game informer as a editor of the magazine during during its time to becoming the biggest magazine in the u.s in part of course thanks to uh, gamestop buying it and pushing it at their stores um and then I quit that and started to become a freelance journalist, um, in part out of necessity because I was trying to become a game developer, but that really wasn't working. I was actually trying to get a job at Namco working on the Dead to Rights series, if you're familiar with that. Uh, it didn't really end up going anywhere, especially after the second one. But um, there are some other, I, I, I interviewed with some other places trying to get a gig in development because I was sick of writing game, about games. I wanted to actually make games be somebody that people wrote about, uh, not the writer itself. So that didn't always work. I ended up living in LA, moving to LA and, uh, interviewed with THQ, THQ, who, who was the, the publisher of WWE video games for a long time. And those guys knew me from, of course, me reviewing all their stuff and they would have events at like WrestleMania. And I would go to those a lot of times and interact and interview those guys, uh, the design team. And uh, so they brought me in. And that was, you know, they were putting the finishing touches on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, which was the one that has ECW on the cover. And I didn't do a whole lot at that point because I think it was pretty much, pretty much in the, in the oven by the time I got there. But uh, I had worked with Corey, my boss, uh, the creative lead, creative director, whatever his title was, to, uh, for the next game. And we wanted to do some kind of, kind of grandiose story thing. So we talked, met a couple times. I, I came at him with different ideas, and he had ideas, and uh, we decided to do Road to WrestleMania, which was basically taking the three months leading up to WrestleMania, and then WrestleMania would be the you know the finale, the culmination of that story, and we would have a bunch of different stories um, tailor made to the talent because in the past it was just like kind of you would plug in um, a wrestler into these static stories and it wasn't really related to the wrestler him or herself but i wanted to make something that that was tailor-made to that so i think the we were working on a vertical slice which is kind of the a, a vertical slice is like a, almost a piece that that shows you the the vision that you're going for with the, the entire package so i was working on that first story and i think we were going to start with bobby lashley um, in part because wwe was kind of wanting us to push him I think he was maybe ECW champion at the time. And again, they were high on ECW, their version of ECW. And uh, so I wrote a story. And I think I remember Bobby had some some military background. So I wanted to take some other wrestlers that had a military background. And then I wanted to do a, a kind of a mystery wrestler, like a masked man thing. Um, and have the, the mystery be who is the guy. And uh, I was in the middle of writing that, and then Chris Jericho was going to start coming back. We got we got word that he was going to return, and you know he's a big deal. So we actually switched that story to be about Chris Jericho and kind of used his his initial WWE debut, which was the like the Y two J Y two K thing, and had somebody use that sort of thing against him, um, and end up being you know masked a, a wrestler who was in disguise, and you find out who it is. Um, so yeah, and then we did, you know, they wanted to do a tag team story, so I put Batista and Rey Mysterio together. I think they had tagged at one point, and it just seemed interesting to have such, uh, you know, different wrestlers be um, teamed up, and you, I think you could play as Rey or as Batista or as, you know, both in, in a two-player capacity, if, if I remember correctly. And uh, what else? We, I think that time... Did we do the... I think we had Triple H. This was actually maybe my first branching story. Triple H um, either reuniting DX or reuniting um, Evolution. Those are both factions he was a part of. 
And, you know, that was fun. I think that was when we were messing with Vince as far as, like, I, I took some cues from back in the day and I had you you drawing on Vince's face or messing with his audio. I hope that was SVR 09, which was SVR 09, SVR 10, and SVR 11 were the three games that I worked on. And I was uh, the scenario writer, the designer, and uh, I directed the motion capture for the cutscenes, which was one of, the, one of the most fun times of my life as well, which was when I would, you know, the, the guys who were making cutscenes before me, uh, the studio in, in Santa Monica, did not like wrestlers. They did not like wrestling. I'm not sure why they were in, why that was their job to make pro wrestling cutscenes, but uh, they did not like it. And I'll, 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 I'll tell a story now in that I was actually hired when I was, when I was a freelance journalist trying to do some acting, I was hired to do motion capture as an actor for SmackDown versus Raw 2006. I went to, and I was, I, there was me and another guy who kind of knew about wrestling, but I was a wrestler and I, I got in there in rehearsal. Nobody else knew anything about wrestling, including the guys who were running it. And uh, after the first day of rehearsal, they fired me. And I'm not sure why. I never found out why. But um, then when I started to work with them in this capacity at THQ, I, I realized that they hate wrestling. They hate wrestlers. They think wrestlers can't act. Um, and I changed that. I brought in Austin Aries and Cole Cabana and Cesaro and uh, Cassius Ono and Joey Ryan and you know a lot of other guys who... Uh, were super talented and showed them like these these guys can these guys can act and and can wrestle and uh yeah but um so i had written these stories i think i did six stories initially for smackdown versus raw 2009 and we were waiting for wwe approval so i had to get my boss's approval i had to get approval from from yukes our japanese developer to say yes we can make these happen and i needed uh wwe approval because it was their characters. So um, they had a guy or or guys who were supposed to be going through those and fixing them. And then I hear, okay, a WWE guy is, is coming to town. And uh, you know, you, your job is to basically finish up these stories with him so we can move forward with production and motion capture and voiceover and all this stuff because it's a big process and we have like 10 months with which to do it all. So he comes in and uh, his name was Dave Lagana. And I sat with him and he hadn't read page one. So I had given him, I probably had about 130 pages of, of script of finished, edited, ready to go stuff that just needed his sign off. And he came in and was like, yeah, I didn't read any of it. Let's, you know, we're going to start from scratch. Like we, it's, but it's December. We have to do the, we have to do motion capture like next in a couple weeks and we have to you know pre-plan that stuff and we have to do all this stuff and you didn't read a damn page so i was really upset and uh sat you know went to my boss and he was like you got to get this done so we kind of you know i, I kept what i could um you know uh, lagana was uh, you know he was a creative team member there i don't know how much he was you know used in that capacity but um, you know, he knew his way around a wrestling storyline. So, you know, he helped me make, especially I remember the CM Punk ECW story. He helped that. And we, you know, we had Tommy Dreamer be Punk's mentor. And we had uh, Taz come back from announced to, to be kind of the, the antagonist. But, uh, and I, I actually knew Punk from, from before his WWE days uh, when I was a wrestler. And he was a much more well-known wrestler in, in the Minnesota area. Um but yeah, that was kind of like, man, that, that, you know, I, I worked on these things. I had dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of pages of script ready to go. And this WWE dude, Dave Lagana comes in and he just shit cans it all. And, uh, then he smack talks me to other people, call me an idiot and stuff. So that was like, like, Hey, wel welcome to the business kid. Even though you're making these games, you know, you're, you got to deal with this drama garbage, but you know, I, it, I, I persevered and, uh, you know, made the changes that we need to get it done. Went in there, did the motion capture, yada, yada. We're running, I'm running out of time here. Um, but the first game, it was amazing to, to have a review of something that you did, that I did. So, um, yeah, that's, this went really fast. Sorry. Uh, if you want more, let me know. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching Justin's Leap to the Past. I'm Justin. You're cool. Bye-bye.